Welcome to Operation Pixel. You even get the dancing lady from Evil Dead 2. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing Evil Dead Regeneration for PS2. Uh, I honestly don't know much about Evil Dead. I know I've seen... Army of Darkness. I saw the, the first movie, <clears throat> the, the original one that was actually kind of scary. Uh, you showed that to me once. Oh yeah, the original one. And then you showed me the silly remake of it. Evil Dead 2. Then Army of Darkness, where he goes back into, like, medieval times. Yeah, we did see that one yeah. once. I, so I think I've seen all three of them once, though. The crazy backflipping granny in the dungeon. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> like, I remember them being sort of funny movies, but, like, I really, really don't recall what happened. Because it's been so long. They got cult following. I've never really believed in true evil. At least not until that night. And yeah, they, uh, they got Bruce Campbell to actually the do the voice the acting for his character. The book. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the book what of fun. the dead. Inked in blood and bound in human flesh, the book holds the power... I saw the same picture like eight times. <laughs> Professor Raymond Noby brought the Necronomicon to this quiet place years ago. He got sucked into another dimension. ...to study the book, to unlock its <laughs> secrets. <laughs> he was never seen. All the when we read, claymation we woke some <laughs> animation. <laughs> Dark, infectious evil. Did you ever see the new time. one? It got into my hand. And it uh, back. what, like the Netflix series or whatever? N well, no, they have a series. It got to the others too. That, that stars Bruce Campbell. But I'm talking about like the remake, Evil Dead. Less came out in like 2016. That's no, it's like a reboot of the series. No, I haven't seen that. Oh God. Is it good or bad? It's horrible. <laughs> in a good or bad way. Do you think you it's... could defeat us? Okay, it's like a modern-day version of the very first Evil Dead. Oh, so it's a back to a horror thing again. It's terrifying and extremely graphic. I see. And uh, I, there is one scene in there I can't. I still no. There's two that I can't watch. I I, I have to like look away. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's terrifying and just disturbing. Perhaps perhaps unsurprising that I haven't seen it then. Oh yeah. <laughs> I kind of figured I might, I might have, like, showed it to you once or something. Maybe it's possible. I don't know. I know I, I, me and Ryan talk about it quite a bit. <laughs> sure. Um, the laughing deer. <laughs> he, and then he starts going crazy and laugh too. His lamp starts laughing. This is when you know you're going insane. Yeah, this is a scene straight from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's already pretty ridiculous when you've got a chainsaw for a hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I'm, I'm really not a big person on horror films. Uh, just in general. Yeah. I think that's largely, like, like my reasoning's always been that uh, nice. most horror movies have crap for stories. I really liked uh, having a good, good worthwhile narrative. Cabin in the Woods, though. Cabin in the Woods wasn't terrible. The ending still wasn't great. But overall, <laughs> the movie was more interesting than a lot of horror films I've seen. But, like, I, I hate nothing more than watching a movie for like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, and then looks like it ends with just like, everybody's dead. Or like, you know, it's just like, I don't want to spend two hours watching people scream and run around, and then it's like, the end. It's like, thanks for wasting my time. There's no story here, you just... It's the jump scares that people like. No, sure. I'm not saying people can't like it. I'm just saying that's why I don't like them. Well, uh, you're probably never going to see it. And probably not. Um, but that, yeah, there's the two scenes that I can't stand. It's like, okay, there's a there's a cabin in the woods, based same thing, same mm -hmm. premise as the original Evil Dead. Yep. Um, and uh, a bunch of this girl's friends are coming together to start have an intervention because hmm. she's like addicted to like drugs and stuff. Oh, okay. And then she wants to get clean, so they take her to this cabin in the middle of the woods, away from everybody to keep her there for a couple days sure, to try and, try and keep her clean, basically. Mm -hmm. And they'll be there for her. Yeah. And, um, 
that she starts going a little like in crazy and she's like I, I can't stand the smell I can't stand the smell and everybody's like there's no smell there's no smell they just think she's going through withdrawals right? mm -hmm. sure when they uh oh hey you uh, hulked out I'm um, evil I'm um, uh, evil dead ash <laughs> evil dead ash is that his super saiyan mode that's his, his that's his dead eye mode <laughs> he's going super <laughs> saiyan um but yeah, so actually, they find out that there's an underground, like like a cellar, mm -hmm. the cellar from the original one. Yep. Um, where there took was a uh, like a uh, exorcism took place there, mm -hmm. and there's like hanging dead animals and stuff. So they're like, oh shit, what's, what actually goes on down here? And then they find the book of the dead down there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the brainiac college kid decides, I'm gonna translate it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> And then it's like, whatever you do, don't say these words out loud. And then it uh, sounds them out. And then shit starts going down. I mean, that seems <laughs> that seems really dumb. If you like, <laughs> if you start by like, let me just translate this. Whatever you do, don't say these words out loud. Yeah. These words. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but I mean, it's it's some smart ass college kid who thinks he knows everything. Sure. This won't happen. I mean, I would. I would find it interesting as like a challenge kind of thing. It's almost like a puzzle. Like yeah. I, I could see myself being like, I can translate this book, but I kind of don't think I'd be like, oh, don't say these words out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, of course, I probably wouldn't believe that it was real either, because it's like, what have you ever found of an evil magical book? Yeah. Right. I've never seen one. No. I mean, and if you found one, you'd probably go. Pfft. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I was like, hey guys, it's a prank book. They say, don't say... Blah, 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 blah. Hey, <laughs> let's all say... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's probably what would happen. Anyway, so she they say the words, the evil gets released, she gets possessed, mm -hmm. and she starts going half crazy, but like, and then changes back to like... Drug girl? Yeah, or like normal girl. But she's still possessed. Oh, I'm just asking, is it drug girl or... Oh, yes, drug girl. Okay, drug so girl So they think possessed. she's going through withdrawals. Okay. But, but she's, she's actually possessed, possessed yeah. How inconvenient. And, um, yeah, at one point they, they lock her in the cellar, just like in the original one. Six months and not a single visit. Oh, yeah, my and appeal for must some reason, swell. her brother's hey, you know what? girlfriend bad news and blow. opens Even up the cellar and, like, or, like, falls down there the and gets locked down there. Your friend's being possessed by Do you want to hear this really quick? No, they're just telling us that even though you're in a psychiatric ward, we got to make you come back truth. because shit's going down you and you're the only one that can help us. And we actually believe you now. <laughs> Professor Nobi's diary. But how did you? I uh, bribed a janitor to grab your files from Dr. Reinhardt's office this morning. Dr. Reinhardt's office? Well, why would my shrink have Nobi's diary? Because he actually believed him. Sense? He went looking for the Book of the Dead. Nobi's diary. It was in the cabin, right beside the Necronomicon. See that anime pose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The clutch fist. There's, there's enough dramatism here that I kind of wanted to see what they were actually say saying. Thanks for believing. Me. I never did. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got his facial animations pretty good though. You know what? <laughs> also, I feel like at some point. You know, I bet you'd be some kind of a knockout if you traded in the granny wear for thigh high stockings and a bra that pushed up your yams. <laughs> Yams. Oh, baby smooth. <laughs> what are you? I was gonna say though, I think they might have made him like, you know, ten to twenty percent more buff than he actually is. Well, in the first one, yeah. Well, of course, he's I don't. Like... I don't actually know how Jack Bruce Campbell is or was, but he's old now. Yeah, he's yeah, he's getting up there. But he's doing that TV show. Mm-hmm. But he's like the best B movie actor, <laughs> just because he's like so over the top. He's like he's like Captain Kirk almost. <laughs> I remember I remember thinking it was funny because I think he had like a cameo in like all the Spider Man movies, the the uh, trilogy of Spider Man movies that came out. He makes he makes a cameo like in pretty much anything stuff. of um, anything by Sam Raimi. Oh okay, because Sam Raimi helped him. He was that was oh, his first the same, yeah same director guy. Yeah, okay. the guy who directed Evil Dead directed the Spider Man trilogy. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? No. I don't usually pay attention to directors. Actually, names. With I barely the, pay attention to actors' names. Well, that, that's I think we were talking about this just now. Um, this, this sidekick right here is voiced by Ted Raimi. 
Mm -hmm. who is the younger brother of Sam Raimi, who directed Evil Dead and Spider-Man. And he's also made a cameo in just about every movie that he's made, too. Ah. He's in Spider-Man 2 and 3. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just as, like, a knockoff character, like a side character or whatever. It's also been fun to see, uh, what's his name? Um, Stan Lee shows up in, like, every yeah. Marvel movie. He was, yeah, he was even in his Deadpool one. <laughs> I think they're they're stopping that, though. Well, it's not going to be too long before he's probably too old for that. He's already too old for it. Honestly, without getting any hate from anybody, I'm surprised he's not dead yet. He, yeah. <laughs> I'm not meaning that in any horrible yeah, way. No, I mean, like... He is old. Yeah, like any any decent human being, of course, you know, it's like you want him is to he, have a long, happy is life. Is he, like, 94? He's definitely up there. He's definitely had a, a long, mostly successful life. I think I heard somewhere that uh, he got screwed over, though, by, like, a lawyer or something like that. They were, like, sapping a lot of his money or something. The point is, like, now that all these Marvel movies are coming out and stuff, he's getting in the limelight again. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he's getting what he deserves. And with all, 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 yeah. all the fans, you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I just hope he's doing all right. I think it started with the... Uh, he may not be around too much longer, too. but, but yeah, I hope he's... Hope he... Hope he goes down. Is that classic Evil Dead? You know, no. darkness scene. Oh. Now, she, now she got all ugly. She got ugly quick. <laughs> oh, really quick before we finish this episode, I gotta tell you the scene I don't like. Okay, yeah. So, girlfriend gets like knocked into the basement or something. She's down there. The latch closes. She's stuck down there with possessed girl. Mm-hmm. And then she hears thing coming up the stairs, you know, that the wooden stairs are creaking, and she mm -hmm. can't see anything because it's pitch black down there, and then she's trying, trying, to, get, trying to get a, uh, she has a little pocket knife, mm -hmm. a little razor, yep. she's like holding it out, like, don't, don't come near me, don't come near me, and then she comes into the view, mm -hmm. and she's all like freaky and possessed, grabs a razor, sticks her tongue out, and just slices her own tongue in oh, half, oh, yeah, she's, I, like, I, she's like flicking it around, she's like, kiss me, and like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I can see how yeah, that might be an issue, no. yeah. Tongue, tongue wounds seem bad. Yeah, and then another one, some uh, lady broke the mirror and she was like, half possessed and started carving off her own face. Yep. Yeah, and yep. it was the New Age one. Yep. So it had all the visuals. Yep. Yeah, it was, it's... The latest in practical and... It's yeah, the very first Evil Dead in a modern effects. day. Yep. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's still good, though. It, it's, a, it's a faithful, it's faithful to the original. Okay. So, so what you're saying is that it's it's whoa! What? It looks like the frog from Tura. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so what you're saying is that it's a horrible movie, but uh, you mean that in in a complimentary way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But if you like that kind of stuff, yeah. go for it. It's really graphic and it's a good faithful remake of the original Evil Dead. That's a good review. <laughs> we'll start doing movie reviews, doing Operation <laughs> Pixel. Play video games while we talk about movies. Well, we're playing Evil yeah, no, Dead. No, no, it makes total sense. A gun. He's like, not what I'm used to. I can't attach it to my wrist. It's like Bruce Lee. A little bit. <laughs> Let's see if these freaks are still allergic to lead. <laughs> Jumping. Well, uh, it is about time. Yeah, I just want to. For the next episode, yeah, I'll let you. Come on, dude. Wow. They don't seem very <laughs> allergic to lead. How many bullets are in that gun? Uh, apparently, infinite, because I do not have any... Yeah, it would be hard to reload anyways. Yeah. No, I think well, I, mean, I think he did reload. He just kind of, like, waved it around. Yeah, oh, see? Yep. He just reloaded. Yeah, wow. <laughs> much... I'd love to reload like that. <laughs> we just got out of uh, Siren, and you are way faster at reloading <laughs> with one hand than those guys were with two. All right. So we'll come back next time, uh, and we'll do some more Evil Dead.